action in three. Hello everyone, it's Constance. So I apologize for the sound quality of this video. I'm trying to talk over the noisy, dirty fan that's in the window there. And my husband, who is doing work meetings at the same time, um, I could have done this video a little bit later in the day after he was done with work, but I have everything fresh in my mind today that I want to talk about my hormones. It's been a while since I've done a video about my hormone replacement um, journey, so I wanted to give an update. The fact is, there really hasn't been an update until my appointment today, and I feel like I have plateaued as far as the extent of where the hormones are taking me. And I've heard from uh, other friends who are trans women that trust the process and know that more changes are still ahead. And so I kind of discussed that with my transgender care provider today during my appointment. And she said, this is pretty typical, especially after the first year. And I've been on hormones for almost a year and a half now. So she uh, is going to up my estrogen injections. And uh, the progesterone that I take is by tablets. And she's going to switch that to injections as well. So that's more needle pokes, which I'm not fond of. Um, and that's going to be two times a week. And... One thing that she told me was that if I'm still feeling tenderness in my breasts, that things are still going, things are still moving along. They just aren't going to be quite as fast, um, but upping the estrogen and doing the progesterone injections will help kind of speed things up a little bit more. Um, which I'm getting a little bit anxious about because I really want things to look like they're progressing. And it is little by little. I am an A cup. And I'm slowly getting to a B. I'm definitely a B wearing a certain kind of bras. And... Um, I would be happy, like, maintaining at a B level, maybe a low C, um, but, which is weird, <laughs> I'd be happy with a low C. Um, I was an honor student in high school, so I, yeah, A's gay, not as far as breast size, no. <laughs> So, I'm going to begin uh, progesterone uh, injections uh, as soon as the pharmacy gets it filled in. Um, my blood work should determine when I can get my upgrade on my estrogen levels. And yeah, that's where everything sits at the moment. And. It's been a remarkable journey, and I've thought about it so much recently, about how comfortable I am, how proud I am of my body, and that is something that has eluded me my entire life. So it's really important to me that the changes are noticeable and and in certain ways I can express my femininity a little bit stronger with 
a curvier frame. Um, most cis women don't like their curves. Um, I look forward to them. Um, <laughs> I'm not terribly fond of the weight that I've gained in the belly region. Um, I'm working on ways to reduce that. I've cut out soda yet again, which has made me lose 15 pounds in the past. So I'm hoping that that is going to be another avenue for me to lose weight in the belly region. Uh, that is something I'm insecure about. I will admit. So yeah, that is where everything is at uh, as far as the hormone diaries. And uh, my next update will be in a couple months from now um, if I start noticing some differences. So, so yeah. I haven't plateaued after all. I'm I'm still on the road of hormone greatness, <laughs> which is what I'll call it. So thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you all.